Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. This is part two in sail making, and this time we're going to install the luff wire. It's a little complicated, but we make it. Well, we made a lot of progress yesterday. This is the jib sail. And you can see we got our reinforcement sewn in the corners. That would be the after edge, the leech, and the, the clue, and uh, sewed some batten pockets in. This is just a matter of taking the tape, folding it over on itself, and then sewing it down. And it was marked right where they go. There's two in the jib. Um, so, uh, the, and the, the head is reinforced up there. Now, we've got a little mistake and a little problem. There's a, a wire, pretty healthy wire, that runs through the leech. I'm sorry, the luff. And it is this here. And so it runs a whole length inside, inside this pocket that we're sewing on uh, here. So, so this is the leading edge that would be up next to the forestay. And what I did is I sewed this down through both sides just in one stitch. And you can't do it that way. I'm gonna have to take this seam out. And then and just open this up and sew on one side, not both. Because you gotta put that wire in there and it needs to go up as close to the forward edge of that crease as it can. So I'm gonna rip this, I'm gonna rip this seam out. Got a little seam ripper. My wife's got all these cool little sewing tools. Just going in here, pulling this out. So far I haven't damaged the cloth at all, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so see now we're sewing it with the with the the uh, tape open. So we're just and I'm just doing a straight stitch. I'm not doing a zigzag. Just coming straight into it here and going nice and slow. Stopping every once in a while, just making sure we're okay. So the so the bottom edge, of the tape's getting sewed on just there, and then we'll be able to fold that over and create a better pocket so this wire can line up right along the right along the leading edge there. And uh, I just got a piece of plywood back here, but I put some a towel over the back there so the corner of the plywood doesn't tear the sailcloth. You'll hear me screaming if that happens. All right, so I went down to the barn and I got a piece of baling twine and I'm just gonna hold that clear up in the end of, the, of here at the side as I stitch this. And so you can see here, it's kind of a little unruly, but I got a long enough length and I think as long as I don't sew it into my seam on this outside part of the tape, uh, we should be okay for having something then that we can pull that wire through with. So. Let's take a crack at it and see how it goes. Okay, now it's wanting to jump over there in my way. And it's trying to pucker too. That's 
Claro. Yeah, there's no bobbin thread. Okay. Okay, so we got the bobbin back wound up and a new bobbin in there. And uh, picked up where we left off. And we're just going to go on. Keep it straight and keep it from puckering. And then try not to have that happen. stitch. So this is this wire we got to pull through here. You know when I do these videos um, I don't know if it's gonna work out. So you're right here with me to see how this is gonna go. Um, I got this line sewed in here in the in the luff line, in the luff deal, we got a, we got a, a pocket in here, and uh, so I'm just going to tie this on here. Let's tie a bowl one. That's a nice knot. If I can. How about we tie a square knot? I don't have enough. I don't want to lose this thing halfway up in there. I'll tell you that. Okay, now we're going to go to the other end and start pulling this thing. Hopefully, pull it through here. Make sure it's not tangled. All right, here goes nothing. Boom. Okay, it pulled, so I know it's not sewed into it. I think I'm going to need to get that, stay on there, get that ring started in this end, get that knot in there. Okay, that looks like that's going to go. Boy, I almost feel like I crammed that through there, but it'll be easier to pull it. We got the wire in here, and here's the here's the ring, and this has got to be sewed in here. Now, 
Sailrite gives you a number 16 needle. And I don't know, I guess it's sharp, but I couldn't hardly get it to go through the through the cloth. And so I took a hammer and was banging on the end of it. Well, that was a bad mistake. I broke it. There's the end of where you thread through. So fortunately, my wife had some craft needles. And uh, so got one here and the eye's just big enough for this wax thread to go through. So I'm gonna see if I can get this threaded in here or if I have to use the threader. So the next thing that I did then, they said to run it through double double witness, so thick, I'm sorry, double thickness. So I'm still having a heck of a time going through here and, and, and you should have a hard time going through here because you've got both layers of the tape, uh, both layers of the foot tape, and then you've got the sailcloth, one, two, three, four, five, what is it, five, six, seven, eight, there's like nine layers of cloth that you gotta get through to be able to sew this thing. So, after not being able to push that needle through there, it just seemed pretty apparent we needed to try something else. So, I've got an awl, and it's very got a very sharp point on it. It's brand new, my wife just got it for me. So, you're supposed to, uh, do this as close to the as close to the uh, uh, neck of the of this ring as you can, like up here. Start there and then come back around to there. So I'm going to drive this all through right there as close as I can. Well, up here, I'm in it. Okay, right there is probably good. Once you get that in there like that, it makes it easier to run this dude through here. Well, I'm right close to it. That's perfect. Even there, see, it's still hard to get it to come through there. I've got a pair of needle nose pliers. Every once in a while, I, I use those. Let me come through back just to just start going around and you got to come around this thing all the way down to down to the, the edge down here. So probably five, six, seven stitches. And then we'll come up up the outside here and that basically pushes the wire up against the, the uh, luff, right up against the edge. See how we're doing. <laughs> Boy, that all makes it a lot easier to get through there. There's just almost no pushing this needle through here. I don't have a, a sail palm. I tried using a, a thimble and I, I just, I, I couldn't get anywhere. So anyway, this can let me tell just exactly where I want these. The, uh, the instructions say to go about uh, a 16th to an eighth of an inch in between your, your uh, loops here. That's considerably easier when I'm not in as much sail cloth. Let's do those two, see how we're doing. Uh-huh. 
See there, I'm only going through two thicknesses. It's not quite as big of a deal. Okay, now I'm gonna come back down around here and see if I can get back up through one of these other holes I already did. Mm-hmm, just like that. And let's, let's make a knot in this one. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's come down and just do it again up through the next hole and just come back up. If I can, if I can get in that one. Yep, that's tighter. But I'm still able to get in there, see that? All right, so. Now the next thing, I'm just going to come through and kind of, oh look, I'm able to get through the cloth right there. How about that? That's going to be really good. That's nice. That's going to bury the end of that underneath there. That was a convenient accident. Then the other thing is you got to come up and come around up here and they, you got to do oh four, five, six stitches to come up there. So let's... Uh, See if I can just bury the whole thing. Oh, that's going to be good. Push that through there. That's it. So we've got it. Got it wrapped, got it wrapped up on there, on the, that too. Now, we gotta put a grommet in somewhere in here and we'll, we'll do more stitching to wrap it, but uh, I'm gonna have to get the grommet cutter for that, so that's gonna be about it for now. So that's how you put the wire in the luff, and this is a jib sail for the Haven 12 and a half. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.